Turning to other news tonight, Rodney Clavel's shattered family has defended the fugitive who took his own life during yesterday's dramatic siege in Adelaide. Police have confirmed the four women were barricaded inside the brothel by the gunman, but fortunately didn't witness his suicide. Last night, Rodney Clavel's half-brother and niece visited the brothel where the 46-year-old took his own life. Wayne Clavel was driving when he heard the shocking news. I came on the radio. I had to pull over. And I, uh, oh gosh. I just started crying and I thought, well, this can't happen. It couldn't happen. Why? Why would he... I loved him so much. The Clavel family says people don't know the truth about the former prison guard. They should stop thinking that he's a bad guy just because everyone says he is when he isn't. They claim more should have been done to save the fugitive's life. He's a gentle giant. I mean, he wouldn't hurt other people. Even today with these ladies there, he wouldn't have hurt him. You know, no way. I couldn't see him doing that. But police say the four female hostages endured a horrific ordeal. They were barricaded inside the brothel at gunpoint but escaped before Clavel died. We now know that, uh, um, that, that they left and uh, sometime after that that uh, he made the decision to um, commit suicide by using the firearms. Major crime detectives were back at the brothel this morning collecting more evidence. The sex industry network says workers need better protection. There are, have been many criminals in the past who have admitted to um, to targeting sex workers specifically because they saw them as easy targets. A Facebook page has been flooded with condolences despite Clavel's long criminal past. What's happened is tragic and you know we just got to bury the brother now and 